Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be jumping on our second video for our V90 drive setup uh, where we're going to be a, a setting up our V90 drive in TR Portal so our 1500 series uh, PLC that we've got in here are able to control it so if you missed out the last video when did a look at the wiring, the motor and the, the, the setup and configurations and using the V-Assist and auto tune and things like that to check out the uh, previous video, which you should be able to find part of the V90 drive playlist. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we have finished off quite some time ago on some videos. So I'm just going to, this is my actual system that has been set up on my bench desk at the moment. So from there on, we're going to continue with this exactly the same system. So let's go in a hardware catalog, type in V90. I already searched it and there's a V90 down here. Take that one and put that into your network. Once you've done that, so from network, just assign it to a controller it's going to be talking to, which is the uh, PLC2 for us. So once we've done that, so let's go into the uh, topology as well. And this is where we need to select exactly what ports are actually talking to what. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to be using P2. We're talking to P1. It's very important, guys. Do make sure that is done properly. The topology for the servers are very important. So uh, and uh, once we've done that, uh, we're gonna go into the drive itself and remember if you haven't watched the previous video do suggest you to watch it We need to give him a telegram. So am I doing that? Let's go in a hardware catalog As you can see third telegram. That's what we set up in the drive in the last video So we're gonna give it to drive in a project that that's a telegram they're gonna be talking to it's very important So once we've done that telegram comes in here and from there, as you can see, we're not going to do anything in here yet. What we're going to do, we're going to create a technology block. We're going to project, and we're going to get to your position axis and click OK. Uh, once we do, the, uh, do that, what it's going to do is going to create these uh, organization blocks in here, MC Servo and MC Interpolator, whatever that means. So from there on, let's go back on to the drive and uh, go into, oh, where do we go in there? Do that. So uh, click select our telegrams and click O. Isochronous modes in here. And give him the blocks in here. As you can see, that server, that specific block that we are gonna we need is this one in here for that. So after that, we're gonna go into the drive cell and we need to select isochronous mode in here as well and make sure that is ticked in here, which is our telegram. You want to read more into detail about this guys do check out Siemens's videos itself they are very very good so I've done that so uh, so, so that's all there that's all changed as well so we are good in here once we've done uh, that so then we're gonna go into configuration so I think we are done everything we need to yeah, go into configurations from there on what we need to do we need to select a drive in here which specific this axis this axis. If we have many axes, we, 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 we select it differently. But we are going to we want this position axis to uh, this drive to be part of this. So we're going to go and select it. So select uh, the little three dots in here. Go into Profinet IO system. Select a, a Simatic V90. And as you can see in here, it's, it sits in there. So, so for me, that name is wrong. So we're going to man So but what we're going to do, we're going to click OK. So there we go. Once you've done that, everything gets green. It says, hey, now I know what I need to do. Now we still need, we still got work to do. But first, I need to fix one of the big problems. The name. When communication is going to start to happen with this guy in here, he's going to be looking for the name that is exactly the same as in the drive. So, what did we give it the drive? So, let's go to the connection. Come on, buddy. Don't let us down. Here we go. My drive's name is V90 drive, not what it says down there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that. So if this is incorrect, your drive will not work. The communications will not be established. So I haven't done that. So let's go in here. Double click. That's just 
click on that one and paste it in there. Now the name has been changed. Happy days, so that's all good. Another thing what we forgot to do, it's a very important thing actually. Go Mr. I man. Remember the IP address? It was 23, so we're going to change that to 23 as well in here. So that's done. So what do we need to do next? So let's go back into configuration. And uh, let's go into the data exchange with encoder. So let's jump in here. We need to do some changes in here. Right, as you can see, my encoder is row 3, yeah, which is great. Incremental, which is great. But revolutions are wrong, which is very odd. So revolutions are 2,500 per rotation. Another thing is, as you can see, bits in G at the GX V65 resolution for my encoder is actually 2, not 11. If you don't change that, your drive is, your, 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 your drive is going to work. But your whole measurements and everything is just going to be, it's just not going to, it's, it's going to be a big problem. So do make sure your resolution is fine. You can find your resolution in your data plates, not data plates, uh, data information about your motor. So my one is two. So make sure that is done. It's very, very important. Otherwise, again, I tripped up on that one and I couldn't understand why is it being so weird. It just doesn't measure anything what I'm trying, what I'm trying to do. The next one, I'm going to go in mechanics, and I have done my calculations that my uh, position parameters, when it's a least screw pitch, my one is per, uh, per revolution, is 93. So I'm going to change that as well. For you, obviously, it could be different, but you can leave that as, a, as that if you wish. So the next, I think we are pretty much done. Your drive it should be all set up and ready to go. So if there's any issues, it will tell us. Let's compile it. Once you compile it, it's happy with everything. Good. Let's go. Let's focus on a PLC and pump it all in. So we'll find out in a minute if we've done everything correctly when we go online. So uh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's finished. So is it, is it all working well? Well, it is not giving us any reds. So let's double check it. So let's go into a configuration network. And let's go online. Have we done everything correctly? And there we go. If we have followed all of these steps to the point, we should be able to see this. Okay. Everything is working well. Look what's happened when I unplug my, um, uh, let's say un I will unplug my drive. Okay. As you can see, now it becomes red. That's where the topology is really, really good. And I'm going to plug it into a P2. See, I plugged it into the P2 and it doesn't do anything because it says, hey, this is not how my pathology is set up. It doesn't work. You see, it says I have, it says I'm, I'm reading it. I'm happy. I'm reading it. But let's go on. What does it say in diagnostics? I don't even know. In low level components, additional information. See, it's configuration is probably, it's, it's, it's got problem. It says he's, he's not talking to the correct topology port. So that's, that's. Very important that the topology is set up correctly. So let's unplug it and see if it fixes the problem. My drive is actually saying F1912. I would show it to you guys, but my camera is focused at the moment on our linear actuator, so we can't show it. And technically, if all goes well, as you can see, it's going to get green in a minute and fixed itself up. How about that? So let's go into commissioning quickly. We're going to play with this actually. What we're going to do, we're going to play with this in the next video. And that, Benjamin, how we set up our V90 drive to communicate with our PLC. It could be 1500 or it could be 1200, don't matter. That's how we set up for Speed Control S. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that is helping you out and getting you uh, going. I know it definitely help, will help me out in the future because there are so many steps that you need to follow to make everything work properly. And there's a lot of little things you can trip up, but hopefully it's helping you out and it's getting you going. It's the same way it will do me. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you do like the video, do smash that like, do subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you next video.